I always think of macro macro considerations as being a little bit like when uh, when a friend that you respect tells you about a stock pick. I know, I know. I always have to. I have to force myself to listen to other people's stock ideas. Even you know, I I, I watch your broadcast, Oliver, and 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 I read your newsletter. And you know, the Manual of Ideas has has great ideas from great investors. But if I somehow if I didn't come up with it myself in a bottom up way, I I, it, I I need to I need to push myself to make sure I'm still as excited to look at someone else's idea. And and since since as you say macro is not the bailiwick so to speak of the of the of the bottom up fundamental investor when when macro signals are blaring we need to you know re- remind ourselves that it, that it's okay to be tipped off by someone else it's okay to be tipped off by uh you know by the macro i i, I guess i'd compare it you know i've al- i've always noticed that that value invest Investors, tr- I, I don't like the term value investor. To me, you know, an, it, it, an investor is someone who has, you know, th- thought out how they'll respond to, to to different externalities happening. And you can be a growth investor or a value investor. And I don't, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't like to delineate that way. But I tell you, one really bad word is is technical analysis. People don't like that. People think this is such a naughty word. Well, of course, if you, sure, if you look at how, what sort of pattern is the stock forming, of course, that's silliness and, and that's not technical analysis that interests me. But I know, I know a lot of value investors who are interested in stocks that are on the 52 week low list and who are interested in, you know, dogs of the Dow and, and, and in what sectoral funds had the most redemptions last year? Those are that's all technical analysis. When I think of technical analysis, a, an investor who I have huge admiration for, who's very much a technical analyst, but he's also a brilliant value investor, is Jeremy Grantham at Grantham Mayo von Otterloo, and that's what all of their letters are about. It's it's about looking at asset class returns, and then you know e- extrapolating where where they've run too much in a in in a direction too positive or too negative so it, so I, I think it's okay to do a little bit of macro here and there but then after you start with the macro framework you better you better dig in and you'd better identify some interesting individual equities to own or otherwise all you have is a you know some some interesting uh academic information about a place <laughs>